This video was made possible by EA and EA Game Changers. Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing the first update for my Lunar Zodiac Challenge. The challenge was created by Coffee here on YouTube. And first off, seasons! <laughs> So this is the first time I'm playing in winter and I decided to start off this save because this is the first time I've gone into the save since we've gotten seasons. I decided to start it off in winter because I thought, well, what more, what, perf what season could be more perfect for them than winter? So yeah, this is our house. I've made quite a bit of progress since I started the challenge. And first off, I have to apologize to you guys for not posting an update of this challenge in about a month, I think. Yeah, it was a m about a month ago that I posted the creator sim of Artemis. And I haven't had an opportunity before then to record an update. And I actually haven't played the save in like two weeks. Since I didn't want to make too much progress before I updated you guys. And we already have the first three generations daughters so right here outside we have Brianna 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 uh, um, her name is Brianna Aries and she's obviously our Aries daughter so Brianna I went and I researched different names for the zodiac and Brianna is Irish for strong and fearless and from what the internet could tell me those are definitely traits of an Aries, so that's why they suggested that name for her. Then we have Danica Taurus. Now she is just the cutest little girl I have ever seen. I absolutely love her and Danica is Slavic for, morning, for the morning star Venus. And obviously I think Taurus is associated with Venus. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I did my research on that. But then we also have our Gemini twins. Now, before I had them, I actually had a bit of trouble because the guy that I wanted to have the Gemini babies with, we ended up having a boy first. And that was actually kind of fortunate because then I remembered, well, you, there's stuff you can do to try and make your sim have twins. So... I had Artemis get the fertility massage and I added the on ley line trait to the lot and everything. So then luckily we ended up having twins. So the oldest of the twins is Columbia. And I decided on Columbia because it's an it's old English for dove and Geminis I think are supposed to be signs of peace and stuff like that. So doves do have a lot of symbolism for Geminis. From everything that I've read anyway. And then Colinette is French for little dove. So she's the baby sister. She's the youngest of the two. And then we also adopted little Stella. And I just couldn't resist. <laughs> I couldn't resist giving her a cat. But yeah, so if you look at the calendar, I also wanted to say thank you to EA for giving me an early access copy of The Sims 4 Seasons. I want, I've been waiting to play this game for so long now, I've been so excited. And this is actually the first in-depth kind of look at gameplay that I've had. I haven't really had chance, a chance to play with most of the new stuff. I've only built and I've created a family with the new cast items, but that's basically it. So if you look at the calendar for the Moon Household, today is actually Winterfest. Which is great, and obviously the two girls are off from school. But it's also going to be Columbia and Colinette's birthday today. So that's something I wanted to play through with you guys. But first off, I think I want to decorate the house a little bit. And I do mean just a little bit. <laughs> we don't have a lot of money. So it is going to be very sparse and not too nicely decorated. But let's just put that tree. This is the tree that your sims can actually decorate themselves. So I'm freaking out to see that. I can't wait. Let's put the pile of presents there. Oh, not the presents. I want the ball. 
let's put the presents there and that's basically it that I wanted to oh how could I forget how could I almost forget the most important thing the decorations <laughs> so let's have hmm let's have her put up some Eve decorations so for the decorations I've watched a few videos on this but it's really really awesome you can decorate basically any part of the outside of your house so and you can either do it by the season so they have preset decorations for every season or you can do it yourself so I think I'm going to do it myself this is oh icicle waterfall lights that's really pretty do I want icicle lights or do I want fairy lights let's go with some blue fairy lights blue and white fairy lights and freezers I don't think we have freezers on this house we don't have a foundation either so that kind of sucks but yeah so we're just going to decorate the what do you call it <laughs> the eaves and I don't know maybe we could decorate we don't have any fences or foundations so let's see what happens when we try and decorate the freezers just out of curiosity so let's see what the house looks like when looks like when she's done oh that's beautiful oh I love this I've played a tiny bit with the gameplay but I played in an apartment so you couldn't decorate anything anyway so oh that's gorgeous I love that and as you can see our garden she has a bit of a garden here and it's basically all out of season so it tells you I haven't played with the new garden update either so it tells you oh yeah it tells you which season they're meant to be in and everything like that so that's really cool but yeah so this is our house it's not very big and it's very sparsely decorated so yeah it's not too it's not too fancy not yet anyway what do you want to know I got a present that I think is dumb I want to trade it with a friend or give it back can I do that I want her to have really great empathy I think so sure give it to someone else what, what's this tradition I'm being fair be festive and jolly with friends and family to participate use say festive socials such as lighting the holiday tree ask if good or bad or belly laugh well that's nice so why don't we go and decorate the tree with I want to decorate the tree with a tree skirt obviously red and gold white and gold snowflakes I want to decorate it with both of our children because why not it's their first Christmas together so why don't we make a bit of a family event of it <laughs> and it's the first time I've seen I'm seeing them do this <laughs> wow if my mom caught us just throwing the ornaments at the tree like that she would have a fit but never mind maybe Artemis is a bit more lenient where that's concerned <laughs> oh so there's the tree skirt so why don't we decorate it with some garlands blue and white bells popcorn and cranberry oh blue and white bells definitely as you can probably see I'm going for a bit of a blue and white theme for their uh, for their Christmas and over here is the new thermostat object and I had to turn it on so you can see it's when it's set to warmer it costs more money so your bills are going to be more but I had to do that because um, because Brianna was feeling cold she had a little moodlet while she was in the house of her being cold so I thought I would just turn that on and see how that works also that's the garland let's decorate it with some ornaments some blue and white we're definitely going for a blue and white theme for this <laughs> Ooh, and it's telling me it's Columbia and Colonnette's birthday so that's great I think after we did that we've done this I'm going to have them age up I wanted to take you guys into cast with me to give them a little bit of a makeover but I might do that at the end of the part of the update just so that it doesn't take too long so yeah we're just going to have them de finish decorating the Christmas tree 
and then we're just going to have them, ooh, they want to open presents, and they want to wait for Father Winter. Now, I know Father Winter comes at 8 o'clock, I think, 8 o'clock at night, and, yeah, then they can, you know, get to know him a bit and stuff. But why don't we light the tree? Light the tree with both of them, and let's see what it looks like. Come on, tree. Oh, that's really pretty. I love that. It's so cute. Why don't you go and sing together? Ooh, what are we going to sing? We're going to sing that, which I won't even try and pronounce. Oh, they're so cute. I find that way more adorable than I probably should, but that's really, really cute. Let's have them add some presents to the pile as well. Brianna, why don't you go and see what this child is screaming about <laughs> when you're done. Have them finish their singing and then add some more presents. Add all the presents so that everyone can have some presents to open. Why is this child screaming too? Why won't they be quiet? Whatever. We're going to age them up in just a bit anyway. It doesn't matter. But yeah, so we have our presents. Can you add presents under the tree? I thought I... Yes, place the present pile under the tree. Go do it. Do it, do it, do it. Where's the present pile? You're lying to me. You're lying. But anyway, stop trying to eat. For crying out loud. We want to age up the toddlers. And now I have to have a look at their traits. So give me a second. Because I know the toddlers need to have certain traits. Why can I not find it? Oh, because I'm looking at the wrong thing. That would probably be why. So the Geminis need to be silly. And I thought I would make obviously both of them Geminis. Since I would give I thought I would give both of them the same trait since obviously they're both Geminis. I mean you probably won't get twins that are different zodiac signs. So age up little Columbia and then Colonette. Why are you just standing there? Put her down. Put it down. Thank you. Yeah, I really don't have a lot of patience when it comes to my sims. You guys must have noticed it by now, but I, I just don't. I do not have the world's patience when it comes to my sims. <laughs> they either do what I want them to do, or I get really, really angry. And oftentimes I end up killing them off, because they annoy me. <laughs> But yeah, so we've aged up both of them. They definitely need some makeovers. But it looks like one of them is a redhead. Which is awesome since I think their dad was a redhead. So that's really cool. But yeah, why don't we cook a grand meal. And none of them are vegetarian. So I think I'm going to have her make a ham dinner. Not crackers. You're not having crackers. Put it down. Put it down. I hate these sims a lot of the time. I hate when they're so disobedient. Like, could you not? Could you please go and try and potty train her? Just so that she can get out of my hair. Go and potty train her while, the mo while mommy works on some dinner. What are you doing? Why are you all frozen? What is going on? I seem to be having a bit of a glitch. Well, this is fun. There, nope. Why are you all glitching? You're being annoying. Oh yeah, we're definitely having a glitch. Now this could be because of the update or it could be because of some of the mods that I have or CC that I have in my game. 
but I'm probably going to have to do something about this. So I will be back in just a second. Okay, so we're back. That was really annoying. But all I had to do was tab out of my game and come back in. So at least there's that. It didn't take me too much effort to try and fix it. But yeah, I hope that doesn't happen again because it's really annoying. But it must be some of the custom content that I have in my game. I know not everything has been updated for the latest patch. For the patch that was on the 19th. Yeah, for the pre-seasons patch. I know not everything has been updated. Which is really annoying when you want to play the game. And you don't want to play without your mods. And without your custom content. It's really annoying when things aren't updated. But I can definitely understand why everything hasn't been updated because there's a lot of mods that are broken and need, need updating and there are a lot of custom content that needs updating and everything because this is just such a huge pack that it, yeah, you just, there's no way that there aren't going to be a hundred things that's, things that are going to break. So... Yeah, so I wanted to tell you guys a bit that I wanted to tell you guys that Gemini's colors are supposed to be yellow. So I'm kind of, I've found a website that tells me, you know, what the color is that's associated with each zodiac sign. So obviously for Aries it's red, for Taurus it's green and for Gemini it's yellow. So I am going to theme their beds after that, even though at the moment they do still share bedrooms. There's no way that I could avoid that. So they're just going to have to continue sharing until we have a bigger house or until some of them moves out or it's something like that. Yeah, so why don't you call everyone to the meal? All oh, this interact interaction is so cute. Yeah, why don't you guys have a nice family meal? Get off of the table! Why was the cat being so annoying? Leave the cat alone. Sit down and eat your food. You're very hungry, so why won't you just eat? Yeah, and they're not really hungry, but they're grabbing food. So, oh well. <laughs> I guess that doesn't matter. But yeah, so up here you guys, could, you guys can see that these are all of the traditions that come with the Winterfest that your sims will want to complete if they participate in Winterfest. And when they have a little heart around them like that, it shows you that those are the traditions that they love. So this is the tradition that's most important to them. So for Danica, obviously, it's the presents and Father Winter, since obviously she is a child. So that's probably why they're most important to her. And then for Artemis, she absolutely loves everything. So she loves decorating. She loves being in a festive spirit, opening gifts, giving, you know, cooking a grand family meal. And she's not that into Father Winter, but she doesn't, it's not a tradition that she ignores. And for Brianna, she's only into the presents. She doesn't really care about Father Winter. And she completely ignores the grand meal tradition. So she doesn't really care about the grand meal. And obviously the toddlers don't really care about anything because they're toddlers. And they just, you know, tend to go along with whatever you have them do. So yeah, we're just waiting for them to finish their food. Why don't you go to the toilet while you're at it? You're still eating, you're done eating. Yeah, so why don't we have you come after you're done. Open presents with the whole family so we can see what you'll get. Guys, I think there's someone at the door. Just give me a second. Yeah, guys, sorry about that. Uh, my sister just came to the front door and she started knocking and being all annoying so yeah if you guys hear any background noise it's them being loud but yeah so let's have them open some presents together I've never seen this interaction so why aren't you doing it why are you not doing it isn't it isn't there enough space or something open presents with everyone open the presents let's see why do they cancel out of it? That's so annoying. Why? 
Oh, they can do it individually. They just don't want to do it together. Oh, she didn't get, get something nice. Colonet got teaching nesting blocks. Oh, <laughs> Artemis got a carrot. And Danica got a carrot too. <laughs> that sucks. Why don't you open your present, Brianna? What do you what did you get? Oh, you didn't get anything nice either. That sucks. So let's see. What did you get? Oh large pet poop. <laughs> oh my word, Brianna got a large pet poop. That was that was probably Danica. Not gonna lie. Wow. The toddlers are getting really great gifts. Columbia got a home for two dollhouse. So that's nice. But all of the presents aren't open yet. So they can't repeat the, act the action if they've already done it. So that's weird. Oh, so we're just waiting for it. Oh, they're doing it. <laughs> what did you do? What did you do? Don't go to sleep there. What's wrong with you? Let's share the Winterfest spirit with your little daughter and see what happens. Why aren't you doing anything? Are we having this glitch again? No, we're not. So you're just being annoying. But never mind. We're just standing there looking at her. It's fine. It's fine. I don't think we're... Father Winter isn't even here. It's... Oh, there he is. There he is. So reset you so you can go and greet Father Winter. Go and greet him. <laughs> he just slipped and fell on his butt. That's fun. Why don't you go and gr all of you go and greet Father Winter? It's the nice thing to do. So go and greet him. Wow, he's putting more presents on. Don't go to sleep, Father Winter is here. What's wrong with you? Where did he go? Oh, he's outside. Why don't you go outside and greet Father Winter? Hi. Hello. What are you doing? Give Winterfest, ask him for a present since you didn't really get anything nice. Why don't you ask him for a present? What's he giving you? Oh, he gave her something nice. What did you get? Father Winter got Brianna a brand spanking new gift. It's a big gift to go in the family inventory. The Incendiator by Grill Mania. So it's probably a barbecue. That's a bit of a weird present to give a teenage girl, but okay. Your that's on you. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, that's fine. <laughs> so let's see what Danica got. Why don't you go and ask him for a present too? A Penguin Vision Children's Television. So that's nice. That's a nice present to get. So you have a brand new TV. So that's cool. What are you going to get? You're going to get... What's that? What do you get? Another girl. Why with the girl? Oh, whatever. Don't we have a trash can? Here we do. So they've completed all of their, you know, their traditions that, I, that they wanted to do. So, I think I'm going to take you guys into Creator Sim to give the twins a little bit of a makeover. And then we're probably going to end off this little update part. I did want to show you guys, this is the cold outfit that I gave to Artemis. And this is her hot weather outfit. Then we have Brianna, this is obviously her cold weather outfit. And her hot weather outfit. And I also gave Danica, obviously, her cold weather outfit and her hot weather outfit. So let's see. Columbia, what do I want to give you? I'm probably just, I don't know if I'm going to speed this up or not. I might. I might not. But, yeah, we're just going to see how it goes. 
I don't know how long it's going to take me to do it, so bear with me. If it takes me too long, I will, you know, cut off and put and do it on a fast forward. But I think I'm just going to do their, you know, their every, everyday outfits on on camera, and then I'm going to, I'm not going to show you the rest of their outfits. Because it's probably not going to be very interesting. I mean, they're toddlers, so who cares? But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this part. I hope it wasn't too all over the place because, okay, that's kind of a stupid thing to wish for because I know it was. We had glitches, we had freakouts, we had interruptions. Yeah, that's. Oh, I just don't want to think about it. <laughs> but yeah, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. I'm sorry it was such a mess. But yeah, I'm really excited to get back into playing this challenge. As I said, I've been holding off on it. I've been holding off on playing it since I didn't want to get too far ahead. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little update and I hope to see you all for the next one. Bye guys!